Hi guys, we're back in the workshop, but it suddenly looks like an office because we got a desk in the middle of the garage. So what's up Matthias? Why do we have a desk here? It's easier to set up the wiring if you're sitting down <laughs> in a comfortable chair rather than leaning over the end. Ah, come on. So uh, I'd much prefer it. Uh, I'm focusing on the front of the engine right now. Mm -hmm. This is the main splice for all the wiring at the mm -hmm. front. Quite a lot of wires, huh? Uh, quite a lot of wires. It's, it's too much to, to keep in your head, so I have to make notes. Uh, made lists of everything. Okay. Just ticking the boxes to see if everything is there. How many sensors are we actually going to use? Oh, to begin with, I guess about 20 of them. Mm -hmm. Temperature, pressure, uh, things like that. Frequencies. Uh, and when we're finished? Hopefully uh, a few more, but just a few, because we want to keep um, the chassis in check. Oh yeah. Maybe the, uh, the, the level of the rear suspension, oh, okay. things like that. Cool. So we, need, we know how much downforce we have. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. That's so it's cool. not lifting up, you know. Ah, yeah. Probably do that anyway, right? Ah, uh, hopefully not. <laughs> While driving. Ah, no, yeah. No, no. You had you had a spreadsheet on your computer, right? Yeah, I have a uh, set up some kind of uh, scheme to figure out how to wire the the cylinders. Mm -hmm. And now we look away for your password, right? Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> Thank you. This is this is. Uh, the ignition order for the engine, so they are numbered 1 to 6 for each bank, the A and B bank, so we need to set up the wiring to correspond to it in some way. So this is the way to organize it so that we know what we're doing. Kind of complex. And here well, we have the... As long as you have set this up, at least you have something to lean back on and work from. Quite important. And here's the ECU, right? Yeah. It, it, it's uh, right now just sitting on, on the plates, which is supposed to end up on the firewall of the of the cockpit. Mm -hmm. And right now it's uh, without our power distribution module here. Yeah, so it will come later, right? It will come later. Yeah, we don't need it for the engine starter. We will uh, hopefully do quite soon. Yeah, we'll just use switches and. Simple things, just, Basic to, just to check that everything's working all right. And now the fuel injectors, everything is in place, right? Yeah, you can hardly see them, but they're there. It's kind of tight squeeze yeah. here. At the bottom, you can see that they're right, right here, where my fingers are pointing. Maybe we can squeeze in the camera, <laughs> like amateurs here. Yeah, there, there they are, mm -hmm. at, the, at the top. Oh, that's cool. And also we have the uh, the exhaust uh, pipes. Now they've been painted, coated, and um, heated in an oven 400 degrees centigrade, right? Yeah. And we'll, the rest of the curing is when we start it up, mm -hmm. basically. They're not fully cured until you have run the engine properly. Ah, okay. Takes a little time gonna work out just fine. That's good. That's a promise, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm not, I, I won't be part of any problems that occur, but... Of course not. No guarantees. And I promise to zoom into your t-shirt, right? Oh yeah. That's important. Go visit this island. <laughs> <laughs> For uh, top dead center markings. And there's uh, an inspection hole back mm. at the engine. So, cool. You might be able to see something on the camera, I don't know. I don't know either. Maybe. Uh, it's probably difficult on the okay. camera. The British uh, really did a good job uh, of, of making good markings because you can see exactly which cylinder you're looking at. Cool. What does it say now? 1A TDC. So cylinder 1A, bank A, cylinder 1. So the top and center of the left bank, first cylinder. Perfect. And where do we want it to be? Well, we want it to be very close to this marking because we're going to replicate it on the front of the engine so we don't have to be down here when we <laughs> check the timing with the timing light. Uh, 
maybe we're off a degree or two mm -hmm. at, okay. at most. Cool. Update. So we're updating the car. That's a modern car. Yeah, but we're, we're adding four features. cylinders, so Ooh. that's a lot. Oh, I thought it was in V8. Hmm. That's for kids, right? <laughs> yeah, we need more. We need more. We need to have a store all in with Connor. Yeah. Looks like the wiring is 100% finished, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not really. The battery position is optimal. Very much temporary. Yeah, it looks, looks good for temporary use. Thank you. Oh, hey man. Oh. Six B. Uh, hey, man. Kolla ett ett A igen. Nej, jag inte känt att dem. Ja, hey, man. Då har vi ju egentligen eh, tändningen vi skulle kunna prova. Ska vi plocka ur den så den är ju kortad faktiskt där på spåren bara. 12 volt. Det kanske är det som är problemet då. Det kan vara mycket, mycket stort. Då. Så. Nytt försök. Yes. Kör. Hur känner du dig då? 